Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Mid Journey Experience. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Adobe Generative Fill with your Mid Journey image. Recently, the Adobe Generative Fill actually went viral on different social media platforms, mainly because it greatly revolutionized the future of photo editing. So, right now, why don't we combine two AIs, Mid Journey? and the Adobe Generative Fill, also known as GenFill. So to start, let's go ahead and create our base image with the help of Midjourney. Our prompts are silver monkey, hanging on a tree branch, summertime, birds flying in the background, dash dash weird 250, because I want it to be weird. And note that I have this set in a 16 by nine aspect ratio, so that it stays on landscape. So we're just checking out the results here. This is a dramatic monkey, but the navel looks weird. Like, <laughs> what's up with these hands? Let me see, I like this one. Okay, so let's choose this. The next step is to go to Photoshop and create your canvas. So what I actually wanna do here is that I generated an image in 16 by nine, but I actually want to create a phone wallpaper, for example. So I'm setting up the document here in 1080 by 1920 pixels, and I make sure to set the PPI or pixel per inch as 300 to make sure that we have as many pixels as possible to keep it high definition. So then we have this blank canvas here, what we just do is we just navigate where we save the image and then we just drag and drop it to the canvas. So what I'm doing here is that I'm keeping the image in the center so that we can add more stuff at the top and the bottom, okay? Then the next step is using a marquee tool, select whatever area of the image that you want to fill in. And then I go to the edit tab and click on generative fill. Now, I just want the AI to analyze the base image and extend the image. So we don't put in any prompts. We just click on generate and then it will load and it will give us three results that we can look at. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select what suits the image best. And I will do the same thing at the bottom because we want to fill up this portrait image. So I want to fill up the story. I want to complete the whole story of the monkey. So we added the top and then we added the bottom and then we select which of the three images that GenPhil has generated do we use to complete the image. So again, we just leave the AI to analyze the main image and fill it up. Don't put it in any prompts, just click on generate. And we can also use the lasso tool, especially for really complicated shapes like these birds. I wanted to change it up and I want butterflies. And then go to edit, generative fill, and this time we put in prompts. Adobe's AI is actually pretty straightforward. You just tell it what you want. I put in the prompts, change to butterflies. Then let's just go ahead and select which of these butterflies we want to use. But this one on the background, this one is a different matter. As you've noticed from the main image itself, it has a focal blur going on. So the bird at the back is kind of blurred. So I want to change it into a butterfly too. But if we just put in a normal butterfly, it will look so sharp and out of place. So we put in the prompt blurry butterfly. So that way, it also has some focal blur going on and it fits in the background, right? So let's see. There, looks better. So as you see here, the monkey's tail is actually too long. So we can also use generative fill to fix that. So I just selected the part of the monkey's tail that I want gone and I just put in the prompt remove. So it's gonna give me options. And the, the first two looks weird, but this one looks okay. So let's leave it at that. And our next course of action is adding some dramatic lighting. So what I did is that I changed into the ellipse marquee tool 
and just drew a circle at the upper right corner. And then I put in the prompts for sunlight rays. Because why not make it more dramatic if you can, right? So I'm just selecting what the best lighting option here is. So just a little bit of pro tip, if you're not satisfied by the first three images or first three samples that Genfill gave you, you can just click on the generate button at the right hand side again, and it will give you another batch of three samples. Yeah, and I think this one looks good. It really matches the vibe. I love it. We're really looking way different and better than the original photo was. Now we're adding a little bit of foreground action. So this time I'm going to be using the lasso tool to draw a custom shape here at the bottom. So I want some falling leaves drama going on because this is a forest, right? And what kind of forest does not have falling leaves? So again, go to edit, gen fill, try and then type in falling leaves and then hit on generate. So I just want to let you know, guys, that just like any other AI, just sometimes it can be a hit or miss. Sometimes we have, we have to tweak our prompts, add some, remove some. And this time falling leaves didn't actually give us anything. So let's try ahead and try a different set of prompts. Falling leaves floating. And it didn't give us what we want again. So let's try a couple more prompts. Let's try and try until we get the right stuff. Okay. Watch me try more stuff and hope we get the best one. Okay, and I think we found it. This, you see? So this is the full picture and the power of generative fill. So let me show you a comparison from the original photo. See here? So this is without our additions. And this is with. So let me do a little more dramatic before and after action here. So yeah, this is it. Easy, right? You don't have to be very loyal with one platform. If you master mid-journey, you can also learn other platforms to perfect your image. So right now what we were exploring is using the help of Adobe Photoshop's generative fill to further improve your mid-journey image. So just think of it as like a highly simplified composite. So yeah, I hope this proved us something useful for you. And we are looking forward to see your work. Thank you and happy mid-journeying. Bye!